The Urban Barber Association held its sixth annual Swag Health Fair. The event was free to the public, including free food and free health screens. The Urban Barber Association has made getting your basic health screens as convenient as possible by bringing nurses and physician assistants straight to you in a location that is trusted and comfortable, your local barbershop. All right, we're out here at the SWAG event sponsored by Urban Cuts right here on the west side on Detroit Avenue, and I'm here with Waverly Willis. How you doing today, sir? I'm good. How you guys doing out there? We're great, great. And rain or shine, we're still out here getting people tested. So with this event, where did the idea for this event come about? Well, the idea, firstly, let me say that it's, it's Urban Cuts is one of the barber shops. This event is sponsored by the Urban Barber Association. The web, web address is theurbanbarberassociation.org. But this event came about because my clients, I'm co-owner of Urban Cuts Barbershop, uh, my clients are my friends. And with that being said, I go to their graduations, I go to their weddings, but I also go to their funerals. And it was breaking my heart to see a friend dying because he didn't check his blood pressure or he didn't take his medication. So for whatever reasons, um, the numbers vary, the reasons vary. A lot of us men especially don't go to the barber. I mean, go, don't, don't go to the doctor. So I said, you know what, I have to do something about that. So I bring the doctor to them. And as you see, today's event, uh, it's going on not only at Urban Cuts Barbershop, but it's going on at Polish Professionals Barbershop. It's going on at Second Round Knockouts Barbershop, and it's going on at Any Cuts Barbershop. So that's uh, Polish Professionals at 12501 Lorraine. Thanks to Lathan Bennett and James Boyd. Thank you to Tracy at 9611 uh, Lorraine Avenue. And I'm sorry, Polish Professionals at 12501 Larchmere Boulevard and Any Cuts Barbershop at 9, uh, 9611 East 222nd Street. Okay. All right, so let us know a little bit of background information on the Urban Barbers Association. They're doing great things out here today. Let us know about them. Well, basically, the Urban Barber Association is a network of barbershops and beauty salons strategically located around the city of Cleveland. And what we, what we did was come together to fight uh, different things that's going on in our respective areas. One of, one of them is the, swag, is, is the SWAG program, which is SWAG stands for Saving Women and Gents. That's what's going on right now. We also have a, a reentry program. We also have a literacy program. We also have a canned food drive. However, the SWAG program, which once again stands for Saving Women and Gents, is the crown jewel. This is the uh, program that's gotten the most notoriety so that's the one that, you know, we're going to bust in the door. This year, the Urban Barber Association plans on being a, a household name. I'm trying to make people go to their barber and say, hey, why haven't you joined this guy? You need to look into the Urban Barber Association because not only are they doing plans, uh, different programs for health checks, they're doing programs for reentry, they're doing programs for literacy, they're doing all types of programs. So like, the, uh, like it says, united we stand, divided we fall. Now the goal of the SWAG event is to screen, educate, and refer at least 1,000 people in the community. The basic screens are blood pressure, cholesterol, and blood glucose. All the tests are free at the SWAG event. Just let us know a little bit about your experience here at the SWAG movement. Okay, it is very nice out here. I stopped and I got my glucose done, I got my blood took and I got my pressure took and it was kind of high, but they took care of me and it's all good. All right, so how important do you think an, uh, an event like this is for the community? Well, you guys should do this at least once a month because there's some teenagers out here that's just blind to the facts, so we need to wake them up. Yeah, exactly, exactly. They think just, you know, older people might have blood, high blood pressure or something like that. Too. They got it, too. They have what the old folks have. Okay, so do you plan on coming back to this every time they do this? Yes, yes, I'll do that. The Urban Barber Association has partnered with some stellar organizations around the city of Cleveland. Could you let us know what Life Bank is and a little bit of information about that? Yes, Life Bank is an organ recovery organization for Northeast Ohio, so we cover 20 counties in Northeast Ohio, with Cuyahoga being one of our counties. And what we do is we help people that are very sick, that are in need of organ, eye, and tissue transplants. Okay, so with that being said, 
you know, you, you let me know a little bit about what's going on and how crucial it is. Could you let our viewers know about that? There are nearly in the United States 120,000 men, women, and children in need of an organ transplant. Every 10 minutes, a new name is being added to that list, and 18 people die daily because of the shortage of organs. And so with African Americans, we suffer from high blood pressure, diabetes, and heart disease, which are three diseases that can lead to a need for a transplant. So if more more minorities register to be organ donors. It not only helps other minorities to get transplants, but it helps everybody that are waiting for organ transplants, because the more diversity of donors, the greater the chances are of getting transplants. So how, how did Life Bank become involved with this swag uh, movement right here? Um, Waverly um, contacted me and Dale Hemphill, he works very closely with Cleveland Motep, who is our sister organization, and they heard about how I go out into the community and educate and register organ donors, and so they asked us to be a part of this event to get more organ donors, and I think so far we've gotten about 10, so that's great. All right, so if anybody wants more information on LifeBank, how can they find that out? They can go to www.lifebank.org. The sixth annual swag event started with just one barbershop, which was Urban Cuts Barbershop, owned by Waverly Willis and Bridget Reese. The event is getting bigger and bigger each year. The first year, they screened about 100 people, and each year after that, the turnout has been even greater. Now, it's three other barbershops around the greater Cleveland area that are a part of this initiative. Polished professionals, any cuts, and second round knockout. Once again, this is Waverly Willis, executive director of the Urban Barber Association. I'd like to personally thank the other barbershops that are involved. Second round knockouts located, and Tracy Stevens, the owner over there, located at 9611 Lorraine Avenue. Lathan Bennett and James Boyd, located at Polished Professionals Barbershop, located at 12501 Larchmere Boulevard, and Wayland Berry at Any Cuts Barbershop, located on East 222nd Street. And also my co-partner at Urban Cuts, Bridget Reese. I'd like to thank uh, Miss Jerry Sims, Jacqueline Adams from Cleveland Clinic. We'd like to thank Mayor Jackson for coming out. And if you want to know more about the Urban Barber Association, please go to our web address, which is www the urban barber association dot org I want you to go to your barber and say why aren't you part of this movement